welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jensine, aka Jungle Naps. So today I really wanted to talk about some of my favorite masks for oily combination skin. So um, I have oily combination skin, if you guys didn't know that. And I've done a few you know, like skincare videos talking about my whole routine, but I really have been like loving masking. I've been masking like at least every night or every other night and it's really done my skin like such just like miracles. It's done miracles for my skin. <laughs> That's how much I love masks. So I'm going to be talking about my favorite ones that I've been loving recently. Some of these might be repeats, some of them are new. So uh, yeah, before we get started, give this a thumbs up if you like this or like this topic and uh, let's get started. Okay, so the first mask is something that I feature on my Snapchat quite a bit. This is the Origins Clear Improvement uh, Active Charcoal Mask to Clear Pores. Now, this stuff really does what it's supposed to do. So pretty much, you know, you, after you've cleansed your skin, you put it all over your face. I leave it on about 15, 20 minutes, at least until it's just like completely dried up. And then you rinse it off with water and then proceed for, you know, with the rest of your skincare routine. And I promise you guys, like the next morning, like the next two days, you'll notice, you know, stuff that was stuck in your pores starting to surface, which is good because you want to get rid of that stuff. For me, I'm somebody that has a lot of um, like texture and so I won't exactly have pimples that'll have like whiteheads. They'll just be, I think you call them closed comedones, but don't quote me on that. But they'll just be like little tiny bumps. So using like charcoal masks just like this one really helps me control that whole issue and uh yeah especially when you do wear a lot of makeup you know you just don't want stuff getting stuck in your pores and staying there so it's a really really good way to get rid of it and it's been really wonderful for my sensitive skin so if you guys have sensitive skin i definitely encourage you guys to at least try it okay so the next one is more of a moisturizing mask this is the Laneige Water Sleeping Mask. So this is something that you put at the last step of your skincare routine and at night. So you sleep with it on and then in the morning, you know, as you're getting ready for the day, you just rinse it off. And it's more of like a gel type of mask. As you can see in here, it's like a light blue color, goes on really clear, smells really wonderful. It smells like a spa. Um, and it's really, really good for when your skin just needs an extra bit of moisture. Now, I love to use that mask like in the winter time or any time where I've just like been up a lot late at night and my skin just like is kind of like dry and like gross, you know? Ugh, gross. <laughs> that mask, that Laneige sleeping mask, will just like revive my skin so, so much. So we're gonna switch it up. Uh, this mask is neither a purifying mask nor a moisturizing mask. This one is from Nip and Fab and it's their Soften Clay, blah. <laughs> it's their Soften Kale Fix Clay Mask. Now even though it says clay on it, the real point of this mask is to soften the skin, make it nice and supple. So I love this. You put it on for five to 10 minutes, rinse it off, uh, you know, of course with some water, and it comes right off. And I just love that it has such good stuff for your skin and it just smells so good and it really does soften your skin like it'll feel like a baby's bum like <laughs> that's how soft your face is gonna feel so if any of you guys are just noticing that your skin has just like a rough texture this one is good for you going back to um some more clay masks this one I love so much and I'm just gonna tell you guys it's not a cheap mask and 
every time I run out of it, I try to go away from it and find something new, but nothing can replace it. It's so good. <laughs> this is from Glam Glow. It's the Power Mud Dual Cleanse Treatment. So this one is like a much milder version of the white one. I think it's the Super Mud one or whatever you call it. But um, this one is obviously like a clay mask. It comes in this little container here and um, it smells so good. Ugh, like, I don't know, earthy and minty at the same time. Now what I love about this is because it's a less intense version of the Super Mud, it's so good for sensitive skin. So when you put it on, you do feel a tingle. But honey, I'm telling you, you rinse it off the next day your skin will be like glowing. I don't know what they put in that thing, like crack or something, but I'm telling you guys, like my skin was glowing even more than it was, you know, like the night before. And it really helps surface, again, like anything stuck in your pores. And I also find that it prevents any pimples that I have on my face from getting worse, which is what I'm all about. Um, but Lord knows it's expensive, it's $69. I hate spending that much money on a mask, but um, I kind of need it. I kind of need it slash want it all the time. <laughs> but um, let me know if you guys have tried the Glam Glow masks, uh, this one in particular. Let me know what your thoughts are. Okay, so moving on to the last mask that I have for you guys. This, uh, well, it comes in a little container like this. Let me take it out for you guys. This little mask right here is from Pure Lease. It's their Blue Lotus and White Tea Treatment Mask. And it's from their Prevent line. And it's supposed to give your face like intense moisture. And it also has white mulberry, which brightens the face, and anise, which helps, or anise, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but that is supposed to help firm your skin and give it like a really nice healthy complexion. So this one's like a really nice all-in-one kind of mask. I love sheet masks because they're like, they're just so convenient, you know? I can travel with them and then not have to worry about my container leaking or spilling or whatever. And there's something about sheet masks for me that are just really like soothing. I don't know what it is about them, but I really like this one. Oftentimes for me, because I don't have extremely dry skin, I just have a sheet mask on and then when I've taken it off, I pat the excess into my skin, let it air dry, and then I don't even need to add another moisturizer. Um, so it's it's that good. I would definitely recommend this for you guys. Um, it does come in a set of uh, six in this little pack here. I want to say that it's not exactly the cheapest, but sometimes I feel like you pay for quality. I really believe in like investing in my skin. Um, you know, I mean, my skin is a little bit more, it's high maintenance. It requires lots of TLC. And when I don't do any of that stuff, then I definitely see the results onto my face. So I hope you guys really enjoyed some of my recommendations and my favorite sheet masks. Let me know if you've tried any of them down below in the comments. And I also want to know what are your favorite masks to use on your face and of course what your skin type is. Put that down below in the comments and um, I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye!